Hello. Hi. Today we will start a new chapter in class 12 physics that is the current electricity. Now we are providing the concepts easier in physics. That means the concepts are so much easy if you listen to our videos properly. Okay? So let's start. Current electricity. Now, what is meant by current electricity? In, a, in an electrical circuit, there are two components that is, active component as well as passive component. Okay? Active plus passive okay active means the one the, the components which supply the electric energy to the components supply the energy okay Passive. What is the passive? Passive is the one that absorbs electrical energy from the active sources and it will either radiate the energy in the form of heat or it will store. Okay? from source okay and stores the electricity electricity or liberate it Now, the examples of the active energy are cell battery. Okay. Now, we have completed the discussion of active energy, active component with the help of example. Now, we are discussing the passive one. Resistor. Next, uh, ca capacitor. Next, inductor. Okay. Now, what is my resistor? Resistor is a component that absorbs the energy and liberate it as a heat absorbs and liberate as heat ok did you understand? Now, what capacitor? Capacitor is the one that stores the electrical energy without effect. That means without changing the voltage. Here, the voltage is constant. So, we can write it as stores the energy and Which type at the constant voltage type if 
which type constant overview type now inductor inductor means constant current type stores the energy and constant current type
electric charge. Okay, it is the electric charges. Now, here we have supplied electrical energy. Electricity, electric energy. Now, they are they have they have supplied the electrical energy as you see now there are, there are collisions between these two okay there are collisions between top and bottom cross and there are collisions due to which the velocity will increase they are drifting drift so there are Therefore, with more velocity as compared to the initial one. So, we can write the definition as the velocity acquired, acquired by the charges. Due to supply of electric energy as well as the collision between the charges. between current and drift velocity as I is equal to N it is number of car number, number that means how many Q means charge A means area V D means drift velocity ok we have completed the current as well as the drift velocity now we have the uh, current density as you see the what is mean uh, we have linear density current uh, aerial density and the volume density volume density is the common that is mass by volume current density means current upon area we have current upon area first we, have, we will discuss what have we have discussed current current is the number of charges crosses a given point or area in a given time that is i is equal to q by t so the asi unit of charge is coulomb and the time is second so the um, so the unit of current is ampere so we can write it as i is equal to dq by dt this is the first part now we have drift velocity what is meant by drift velocity it is a wire, a small cross section. It is of area A. Okay. Now then we have applied electrical energy. And we have charges. They are colliding. All the charges are colliding. Yes, all are colliding. And they move, they have their a collision with the extra push to the electrons. So they move the Mohr's velocity as the top. So they are drifted. So here we, we can note it as drift velocity. Now velocity acquired by the charges due to the supply of electric energy as well as the collision between the charges. Okay? I think you have understood perfectly. I is equal to NK. This is the relation between current as well as the drift velocity. Now we have completed the current as well as drift velocity. Now we have one more that is the current density related to these three topics. Okay. Next, current 
sensitive. What is my current density? The flow of current in a given area is called the current density. It is simple. The flow of current in an or you can say it is in a given area is called current density okay now we have the relation first before reading the relation it is denoted by j j okay remember it is remember by j it is equal to you have seen the current current means i it is in a given area so upon area this is the j is equal to i by a it is the relation between j in current density and the current now we have we know that i is equal to n q a b d this is the relation between current and the, as well as the mm, drift velocity. So J is equal to N Q A V D upon A. A and A are cancelled. So J is equal to N Q V D. So we can go the relation as J is equal to N Q Vd between J current density as well as the drift velocity. So we have completed the current density topic. First I will explain current density. The flow of current in a given area is called current density. J is equal to I by A. I is equal to N to A V D. I is equal now we have a relation between this is the relation before the current as well as the drift velocity. J is equal to NQ ABD upon A. This and this are cancels. So J is equal to NQ ABD. So we have completed the current density topic. Now we have the resistivity and Ohm's law. We will discuss. First resistivity. Resistivity and Ohm's law. Okay. Now we have a relation that is E parity proportional to J. in all acts aspects and it is a same okay the same okay this is the simple one now we will write the uh, resistivity formula using this. Now we know that it is the electric field. Now we have the relation that E is equal to Vd. E is equal to V is to L. We can say length or the distance. 
is now j j is equal to you know that the current density means i upon area now we have seen the proportional v into l is equal is proportional to i upon a now we want to break the rest r that means register formula that means v upon i is equal is proportional to l by a okay using this we know that v by a is called resistors this capital r is is equal to it is a constant proportional sorry constant it is called resistivity rho l upon a this is the resistance formula okay now according to ohm's law we have now we have completed the r that is resistivity now we have the conductance conductance is uh, inversely proportional to the conductance is, is inversely proportional of the rho Which was obeying Ohm's law and follows the relation V is proportional to I. That means R is constant. We can say R is constant. Means V is equal to I into R. We can say here R is constant. Now we have completed the resistivity and Ohm's law.
Permotive force. Before discussing, we will take an example. This is a pond. First the pond. Now here is the tank. Now we we want to supply the water from the um. Pond to the tank. Here is the pond, and here is the tank. Okay. How it flow? No, will it flow directly from this? Directly it will flow. Electrical to the mechanical energy. This is the one. By using an external force. But in this manner, the the electric energy is is transferred to the battery by using a force that is known as electromotive force. Okay. We will discuss the battery case. Charges from to the charges from 
It is also the same that means lower to positive. You can write it as lower to higher. Lower to higher. Okay. Now in this session we have discussed the in this session we have discussed the introduction. Second, the current top, current or current density, drift velocity, drift velocity, yes, and it is the resistivity and Ohm's law. with an ohm law and the last is electromotive force. These are the one we have discussed in this session. Okay guys that's all for today. Bye bye.